Websites that link to yours basically tell search engines that you have some good stuff there. But it's very important to note that it's about quality of links over quantity of links. Links from irrelevant sites won't help you get a better rank. This is one of the basic parts to SEO. And to be quite honest with you, building backlinks is not a simple task and you're going to need some help getting your backlinks. This video was brought to you by SEOnerd.com, online SEO software. One good way to get organic backlinks are through link roundups. Link roundups are you reaching out to someone who's reaching out to you for content. Okay, in simple terms, I'm a blogger. I'm writing about Japanese noodles. I have no idea what Japanese noodles are, but I want to write about it. What I can do is write a blog post requesting for content related to Japanese noodles. And then I expect other people to reach back out to me with their content about Japanese noodles. Okay, so the way that you look for a link roundup is you search link roundup plus your niche you're gonna find me if you're writing about Japanese noodles and then you're gonna send me a pitch saying hey Mike I have this great article about Japanese noodles it can add value to your blog I'm gonna share it on my social media so that way when you write about it and publish it I'm going to share it with all my social network to add more readership to your blog post. And that's what a link roundup is. It's kind of you're helping out someone in need of help. And in exchange, you're getting a backlink whether they know about it or not. And it's going to help you out ranking um, on Google. Of course. So when you're doing backlink building, you're actually reaching out with other people and Backlink building is hard because you actually have to build some sort of connection with the other person you're requesting the backlink from. It's not like you can make a LinkedIn post requesting for a do follow backlink. In fact, I tried that last week and it didn't work. I didn't even get a comment back. I got like hundreds of views, nobody cared. Let's talk about the pitch. When you're making a pitch to somebody, you have to convince them to accept your content and link back to you you have to genuinely add value to their blog because if not it's spam people don't want spam i don't want spam on my blog i don't mind linking back to you but it has to add value to my blog because i'm not going to post some blog post about whatever method number two reaching out to a journalist if you want to get a backlink from a big publication such as the huffington post Forbes or the Wall Street Journal, you're going to need to reach out to a journalist and have them write an article that includes your backlink. You need to pitch a story surrounding your backlink to a journalist. However, these journalists receive hundreds of pitch emails every day, and if your story is not newsworthy, your email will likely get deleted. Journalists are storytellers. They want to write a good article so that way it captures their reader's attention. There are five things that make a story newsworthy. The first being timely, because stories that happen today are interesting and stories that happened last week are no longer interesting. Second, the story needs to be significant. Third, the story should have prominence. Fourth, the story should have proximity. Readers love to read things that are close to them and that story will get published. Finally, there's human interest. Stories that carry an emotional tone to it are usually going to be more interesting than all the four other things that I mentioned before. If you pitch a story with one or more of these features, you will likely get a reply back from that journalist. Here's a tip. Get to know journalists before you send them any pitch email. Take some time to understand who they are, what kind of stories they like to write, and make note of this in an Excel spreadsheet or inside of your contacts. That way, when you come across a story to pitch them, you don't pitch them the wrong story. You skip over the ones that won't even publish the story anyway. And you'll increase your chances of getting your story published. Here is a media pitch template. Make sure to follow up with the journalist several days later since journalists are very busy people with a lot on their plate. There is one more way 
But first, these are my good glasses. There's another method to get organic backlinks. And that method is stealing your competitor's backlink. Now you're not actually stealing them. You're just copying what they're doing. This is probably the only time where plagiarism actually works for you. Do a search for a keyword you want to rank for. Look at the top three sites. Some of it has to do with onset SEO, but 90% of it has to do with the backlinks. If you copy these backlinks, it could land you a position right here. Backlinks are very important for search engine optimization, mainly because the way search engines are designed. Search engines scan the entire internet looking for new websites and their backlinks. The backlinks tell the search engine what a website is about and it adds this website into an index so that way when someone searches for something it will find the most relevant site. But wait a minute, Google doesn't share these backlinks with anybody, so how do I know what my competitors backlinks are? So what you want to do is scan the entire internet for all the backlinks ever, get petabytes of storage, some super duty processing power, and some software engineers to write you a spider algorithm, and search your competitors backlinks. I mean, hey. You might be able to do it in 60 days. Spend a bunch of money on computer equipment, and voila. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's why SEO tools exist. Now you can spend anywhere from $100 to $200 a month on some fancy SEO tools, or you can get the same thing at seonerd.com. SEO Nerd scans the entire internet, harvesting backlinks into a database, giving you access to it and other features such as competitor analysis, keyword volume research, rank tracking, heat maps and visitor recordings, and custom reports for SEO clients. Hi everybody, it's Mike from SEO Nerd. SEO Nerd is the SEO tools you use to stay on top and outrank your competitors.